journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're looking at this 37 years ago. Uh, this was August the 25th. We were making a high. It was called Harmonic Convergence. It was covered by everybody because it was part of the Mayan calendar. And it's everybody said that was the end of the year. Well, the market came down, and as you can see, it stopped here on the 26th of September. And then it rallied up into a 61% retracement of that exact high. And that happened to be on October the 2nd. And on October the 2nd, I this is when the S&P traded with $500 a point, not $50 a point. I was short four at that point. And then I bought 10 October uh, options that expired on the 16th of that Friday. And they closed here on the low of the day with the Dow Jones, Dow Jones down 100 points, folks. That's equivalent to one of these boxes here. That was a huge win for me. And had I bought the November put instead of the October foot, this distance was $2.5 million. As you can see, we bounced around. This was the low of the decade. Uh, 82 had been the previous low. Uh, that was back in August the 9th. It took two and a half years for the market to regain all of this move here. And I'm telling you this because something like this could never happen again. But I'm just pointing out to you that when something like this happened, it's an outlier event and you've just got to be really careful. Remember back in those days, there was a lot of speculation and it continued. They've still, hey, look, folks, the thing, the S&P is trading at 5,600, for God's sake. Are you kidding me? Anyway, that's what's that's what happened during that time. So I just wanted to, to bring to your attention that's what was going on. And I'm going to show you something else that I think you might have an interest in. This is the re market from 2007. You'll notice here on the left side, the high in 2011 was July the 17th. The market had a monster break and then recovered to make a new high. This year, we had a big high on July the 17th. Exactly. The market had a big break, and it's almost made a new high. We have made a new high in the in the. Uh, um, New York Stock Exchange Index. That's I pointed that out before in, in the newsletter. But that's exactly what has happened. You see how you make that little slightly higher high? That's what happened with the New York Stock Exchange Index. Now, is this going to happen the same way? I don't know. But they cut rates on September the 8th of 2007. And look what the market did. Boom. You can I can say with really strong degree of confidence, dropping interest rates – is not going to be a, a big thing for um, you know the stock market. I believe it's not good for it anyway. We'll we'll find out if that's going to be the case. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple others that look really interesting. And one is that fact about the interest rates and what we have going on here. Now this is the period from 2006 through 2007. You see this big picture here. All right, and that's when the market had a big break, 2006, 2007. Now, if you step forward just a little bit and come out to uh, where we are, well, this was, excuse me, I want to bring this up to what really happened. There's the end of that pattern right here, which was nothing more than a big Gartley, and then you could see what happened as, uh, you know, the rate cuts really happened. Now, remember, the stock market came straight down from October. It didn't bottom, folks, until March the 5th of 2009, and that's why you've got to trade the stocks and trade the stock, uh, the bonds separately because they are separate instruments and you've just got to be really, really careful. Now, here's where we are now, boys and girls. So you can see here, there's your 2024. There's what we uh, just happened here. This was April. As you can see, April of 2024, there's where we are now. And if we don't get moving here pretty soon, folks, 
this is going to be a failed pattern, and we're going to see markets to go down. Now, they say interest rates are going to be dropping. Now, are they going to drop down to three, three and a half? Are they going to stay here, and are they going to rally? We're going to have to find that out, aren't we? But this is where we are here. This was August the 5th. If you remember that big day here, we've been going sideways ever since. So just get ready because when it happens, it's going to be uh, very, very exciting. I don't think there's anybody that even doubts that for a, um, a minute. That's for absolutely sure. Now, I just wanted to mention what happened on Friday with the Dow Jones because we had an incredible trade here. This is where we were in the morning. And, of course, we had this big, big trade here right before we, were had, we had a half hour to go. And we had this perfect ABCD up here. And uh, we made a high up in here. This is where we closed. Uh, we closed right here. This was the end of the trading session right here. The market was going down, and I said, we got a really strong probability of taking out the day's low, and we did that right after the, the market quit. And just as we were doing that, Sarah walked into the room. She said, oh, she said, there's a three drive to a bottom, A, B, C, D, drive one, drive two, drive three, perfect A, B, C, D. Well, the market had a slight rally from that point. I wanted to bring it up to you, but this is what Sarah saw right there. There's the three drive. There was the exact 61% of the previous day uh, back here on uh, August the uh, 22nd. The exact, it took out the low by two ticks and then boom. And today, what did we do? You'll never guess, boys and girls. We did an A, B, C, D. And where did it end? At 41,515. And the high on the day was 41,535. So, ABCD is alive and well, and that's what we like to hear. So let's get up here, take a quick look at it, and I want to bring this up here to show you where we were so you can see it and get this up a little bit. I've got to go to a higher time frame so that we can put it all together. We'll do 13-minute, and you'll be able to see it without too much trouble at all. And there it is right here. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg. There it is right here. I'm going to draw it in so you can see it. Nothing mysterious about ABCD, folks. AB, AB equals CD, as Mark Douglas always said, and it came in at 15,031, and the high was 15,023. It missed it by eight dial points or 40 American dollars. And as you can see here, we had a nice rally coming off. But look at this number right here, folks. Johnny Pull your placard up and see if that's 382. So we're going to draw the low where we're here on Friday, and we're going to put that in right there. And there's your 382, and it stopped right there. Now, we start getting below here. We're going to get a pretty good correction, I would think, at least an ABCD to the downside. But it stopped right on there, folks. I mean, 1291, 41291, the low was you know, 30 points below that, and we're already 160 points higher. So these 382s uh, can be very helpful when you're watching them intraday. That's the main thing that we try to bring to our listeners here. So that's what we're watching here in the Dow Jones. During the time that we have this drop right here, the Dow Jones dropped 42 handles, folks, from the high down to the low. We'll get this up here because the Dow just completed uh, it just completed a 382 retracement here right now. But this was uh, 42 handles on the downside, and that stopped at the 50% of Friday's low, and also 70% of the, excuse me of the. We'll be right back. There's the 61, and then also from Friday. We'll be right back. 877. 9276648 stay with us please Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number 2 for the year an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm sitting here with my good friend, Paul Smilgus, a four trader friend from way back in the 1980s there in uh, Chicago, Illinois. And he wants to say hi to his friend, Mike Grisbowski, over there in Munster, Indiana. Mike, God love you. I hope you saved that Larry Bird uh, uh, autograph ball, but I don't know if you did or not. But anyway, you can see here in the S&P here, let's try it again, Larry. This is the NASDAQ. There was your first 382. There was your second 382. This is bearish until it can get above here, folks. If we look at this on a little bit longer time frame here, uh, just get up here in the hourly. You can see here's what happened today. There was the high that we made back here on Friday. And you can see we had a lower high here and a lower high right here. And in between this, remember, this is an hourly chart. So you can see the ABCD pattern that we had forming right here exactly at the 61% retracement, folks. It stayed here for one, two, three, four hours. And then the market opened. There was your first 3A2. There's your second 3A2. But this is even more important because, look, we have completed the first part of this today so if we go any lower and boy i tell you it won't take much but if we get any lower than this that means that we're looking at something that's going to go even a lot lower to the downside okay and that means you're going to be looking at the nasdaq trading down here another 150 points lower at 94.30 and then if we go to a four hour chart just to double check to see where that's going to be Look at this. This is where we are. Look, we've had one hell of a room run here. Look at there's your 382 right here. This looks like a lot. This is nothing, folks. This is a little tiny ABCD pattern that we just looked at. This is actually kind of bullish. So, yeah, look, watch this. This is going to draw it in. This is actually kind of bullish because if it doesn't get any lower, oopsie daisy, let's get rid of that. That's part of the secret stuff, folks. I can't give you that. <laughs> yeah, right. There's your AB leg right here. All right, there's your CD leg right here. Okay, and that's 94.18 now. We're going to see if that's going to reach to the old 382 of this last major low right back here. I don't think it's even close to that, but we're going to draw it in anyway because here's the key level to watch. 
right here, 9160. There's 9415, which we could easily get to, but 94. Uh, 19,160 is going to be really key because that's a 382 of this whole move from way down here. So this is, this is where we stand right now. And then on a smaller time frame that we were just looking at, we could easily get down there without any trouble at all, as you can see here, by measuring these ABCDs uh, to the downside. So I hope that helps. Now, I'm going to give you a trade here. Now, cross your fingers because this is going to be a toughie. It's probably going to break your heart, but it's not going to break your pocketbook. Here is Christmas wheat, folks. This market's gotten an absolute berserky knocked out of it, but we're going to look at it on the long-term weekly, folks. Here's where we are right here. It measures to 22. The low today has been 22. It's been there a lot. It's trading at 24 and a quarter right now, but the ABCD on this long-term weekly measures here to 516. OK, so if it starts getting below, you know, 512 or something like that, then you know that something's wrong. I recommended buying it at 522. It, it acted to look like it was going to go up for a while. You can see there's 522. We rallied all the way up to 529. And now we're still heading down. I think we're going to get to 517. I will be a buyer at 517 in the wheat, folks, and I'll risk a nickel. And that's $250. You become a farmer. For $250, even in Munster, Indiana, where all the corn grows to be as high as an elephant eye, can you not be a farmer for $250? Anyway, let's take a look at some of the other things that we're watching here today. We had a really great setup, if you remember, in that short uh, Japanese yen trade that's doing really well. Let's get this up here, and you'll be able to see it here. There was the 382 we had here at 49. Remember, there was the big drop. There was a 382 right there. It measured to right there. If you remember, we had that. I think I drew it in on the hourly chart. Let me double check to see if I did it. Yeah, there it is right there. This is where we were taking profits. You remember from Friday. There's your A, B, C, D, the three drive to the bottom. Drive one, drive two, drive three. It's about as easy as you can get. And it went exactly to where you should have been filled. There it is right there. You had to corresponding a b c d move coming in from this level right here and there you go bada bing bada boom and that's why you wanted to be covered in fact you could actually have gone long in this area and all we've done so far with this let me get the charts to be um, uh, make sure the defaults correct there you go move this over a little bit here's where we are from last night and there's where we were here on friday that was the big high right up here all we were able to do today, folks, guess what? 382. So it's still heading down, but this is a big place to take profits. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, maybe this is it and they're going to go even lower. But boy, when you got a profit like this with that pattern, you have to take advantage of it. And if you took advantage of it, you know, it's already rallied about uh, almost a full point. So you probably would have made 800 bucks on that. But that would be nothing more. Then another 382 pattern, just drawing it in this way. You can see there it is right there. And it stopped pretty much on. And if you looked at it real close, and this is an hourly chart, so just move this up a little bit. You can see another AB equal CD. And where does it stop? Where nobody knows it should stop. 144.61. The high was 141.61. 62 so right on the money now we're just backing and filling here probably for the uh, rest uh, of the day our guest at the break will be jeff huge of alpha insights always has some great stuff now we're going to take a quick look here <clears throat> hold on a second folks i want to uh, bring up the gold chart here because we're having some pretty good action here by the way those of you remember from friday we were saying gee this uh, crude oil market has really turned and uh, you can see here this is where we were here uh, on Friday. We didn't quite make the 382. It missed it by about 10 cents. And look what's happened. It just exploded to the upside. We covered that in the video early this morning. In fact, we had a little bit of a gap up here and then the back off. And it's just been rocking and rolling. And looking at this on the daily basis, you remember we just made the lower low here by just a hair's breadth, 10 ticks lower. No selling, and then boom, this is where we're going. This thing's going a lot higher, folks. You can see this is only the third day up, and we're already through the 61% retracement already of that high. So 
that's a pretty bullish sign from uh, the way we look at it here at Trading Tutor and looking at all these things. And we want to take a quick look here at the gold. We've had some good moves here in gold. We'll get this up here. We're going to look at this on the hourly basis so we can see it more clearly because we had some really nice points to look at the gold here's where we were on friday this is when the report came out we had the big run up last night and we got from 65 we came dropped another 20 dollars now that 20 dollar drop stopped from your low last major low it stopped uh just exactly at the 50 percent and now we're still backing and filling it still looks like it wants to go a great deal higher folks that's the main thing to look at. This one, well, we got to take care of our good friend Jeff Huge coming up. So stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. We'll have Jeff Huge on the line. <laughs> The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, we're back, folks. We're with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, are you there? I am here, Larry. How are you doing? I'm living the dream, my friend, living the dream. Let's talk about this uh, four-year stock market cycle because, boy, it sure looks pretty cool looking at it this way. Yeah, you know, um, the, the four-year cycle actually um, is, is something that was largely associated with the presidential cycle for many, many years, you know, going back to the 20s, really, uh, when this was uh, first, uh, you know, conceived of. And I've heard a lot of analysts calling for a four-year cycle low this year. Some have actually been talking about the fact that, you know, the August 5th low might have been the four-year low. Um, I think that that's wrong because when you look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the oldest stock market index that we have uh, to, to study, and you detrend that price data and look at it through the lens of its own momentum, you can see a very discernible pattern, right? Those highs and lows. And if we overlay uh, a cycle finder, and I, I do this at every conceivable time uh, possibility, and we look for the highest correlation, the highest possible correlation to this, this momentum uh, uh, gyration that we see over the past 40 plus years is a 40 month period. And that 40 months actually translates to 3.33 years. So the four-year cycle isn't a four-year cycle and has really very little to do with the presidential uh, you know, uh, cycle or the election cycle. It's, it's really a 3.33-year cycle. And if we look at those highs and lows, and you can see a little left and right-hand translation from, from time to time, um, the cycle is actually suggesting that we should see a top this year. And in fact, the peak in momentum this year actually coincides very closely with the cycle's expected high. So um, the next low for this, this four-year supposed cycle, which is really a 3.33-year cycle, is not until mid-2026. Uh, and so we think that we're going to see you know, a pretty uh, significant decline over the course of the next 12 to 18 months. Okay, let's move on here about the optimism of the retail investor. Yeah, you know, um, we look at the retail investor, which is the lower frame of this chart. That's the uh, uh, association or American Association of Individual Investors. And um, it basically surveys, um, you know, several hundred uh, members of their, of their constituency every week. And what we do is we take the bulls, minus the bears, and about 51.6% are now bullish, and 23.7% are bearish. That's a very high bullish reading and a very low bearish reading historically. And that spread's actually 27.9 right now. Very rarely does it get above uh, 30. Uh, and when it does, it usually marks a major turning point in the market. I think we're close enough to 30%, especially since we we, we clocked that 30% mark twice this year already. Um, I think it's really indicating that retail investors are all in. And it seems like they're all in uh, related to an upcoming event. And that upcoming event is the, uh, the uh, quarterly report from NVIDIA due out Wednesday after the close. You think one, you think one stock would be enough to move it in any, you know, it, well, I guess it can because it's, it's done it before, so I should shut up. Yeah, I, I guess you, know, you can do it easy. Can. I'll tell you what I think, Larry. I think as NVIDIA, so goes the market. Yeah, wow. One stock. One, well, Apple did it for years, so who knows? Well, there it goes, in NVIDIA and the market. Boy, there's had a heck of a rally, too. Wow. It has. Um, you know, we, we've recovered quite a bit, about a 78.6% retracement of the decline that actually occurred back on June 20th was the peak at about $141. And we saw a very impulsive five-wave decline uh, into late June and then a three-wave recovery rally that retraced about 61.8% uh, of that decline. Um, we've marked that waves one and two at minor degree of uh, scale. And then we see another five-wave decline that we can count all of the sub-waves in between as well. And it gives us a pretty a clear, um, you know, uh, impulse wave down into that August 5th low, which we think is actually um, uh, something closer, maybe minute wave one. And the recovery that we've seen so far looks to us to be a three-wave recovery. And we think that that is uh, probably minute wave two 
of minor wave three down. So we're at the precipice of a third of a third wave decline in Elliott wave parlance. And I think if we get a miss uh, from NVIDIA on Wednesday after the close, we should see the stock collapse. It could lose you know, something close to 50% of its value or, or its peak value. Uh, we actually have a target price of $76 as our, our minimum starting point. That's just a 50% retracement of the entire advance off the 2022 low. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, here's a NASDAQ. This is, uh, been hasn't made new highs yet. We made new highs in some of these other indices. We made a substantial new high in the uh, trading index for the New York Stock Exchange Index. That's in itself pretty unusual, isn't it? Well, it is, but you got to remember there's a lot of bond proxies in that, uh, preferred stocks, closed-end bond funds. And so it has a lot of influence. Um, when I look at the NASDAQ 100 recovery, it looks tenuous. And what tenuous means is it doesn't look good. Uh, you know, if we look at the peak that we saw back on, I believe, July 10th, uh, which was close to 21,000, um, we've declined in five discernible waves. Uh, the third wave actually subdivided into three waves as well. And, and we think that that five-wave decline is probably wave one down, an intermediate degree of trend of a major new downtrend. Uh, we can count three waves to the upside here, A, B, C, and that's retraced exactly 76.4% of Fibonacci retracement uh, to basically conclude what we believe was uh, intermediate wave two. And we're already, uh, it looks like we're really uh, poised to fail at that 50-day simple moving average. I think a break below that, which coincides with this advancing trend line, uh, would uh, definitely, you know, to us, give us a high probability that intermediate wave three down is in progress. And I think once we take out gap support, which comes in around 19,000 or so, uh, that really opens the gate for a move down to the 200-day moving average at 17,988. And a break below that, sustainably, in our opinion, would confirm that um, intermediate wave three down and a new bear market trend is in progress. And, uh, you know, again, NVIDIA is going to have an enormous amount of influence over this index. Wow. Okay, let's move on here. We've got another one to look at here, and that is the Russell 2000. And boy, that's a that's been a real a lot of 3% on up 3% on Friday. That's a big move. Yeah, daily price changes seem to capture everybody's imagination about a broadening, right? And what our work tells us is that we've seen a very choppy lateral uh, advance in the Russell 2000 off of its close uh, last October. That looks corrective. That's a three wave corrective wave. Got to pay a few bills, Jeff. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, folks. Stay with us, please. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back talking with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, and we're talking about the Russell. It certainly doesn't look nearly as bullish as uh, the NASDAQ or the S&P, uh, for sure. Am I correct on that? You're correct. We haven't even made a new all-time high on the Russell 2000. In fact, uh, that uh, primary wave B retracement uh, was about 78.6 retracement to the penny of that initial decline, uh, which ended in October of 2022. And, and as I mentioned, it's a sideways, very lateral sort of choppy overlapping, uh, you know, uh, waveform, which is a corrective waveform. And in fact, you know, we've, we've, uh, uh, he illustrated that B wave, that minor wave B wave in this final uh, advance here as being a triangle. Triangles are very prevalent in both B waves and wave four. You can see the fourth wave triangle in the advance on the far left of the screen. And so they tend to precede that final move and the final moves tend to be truncated. And so that's what we have is a truncated minor wave C of, uh, of, um, or uh, yeah, of, uh, uh, intermediate wave Y of primary wave B up. And then we saw this plunge right into that October, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, August low, right? That August 5th low. And that was a very impulsive decline. And now we've retraced another 76.4%, yeah, 76.4% uh, to the penny. And, uh, you know, I think that um, we are now looking at a potential third wave decline here uh, that could um, ultimately collapse. If you look at that 200-week uh, moving average line, that's the green moving average, that has held every single low uh, year to date. A breach of that level sustainably would confirm that a new downtrend is in place. And, and we actually think the setup is that of a crash. So we'd be very, very um, uh, uh, you know, uh, hesitant to look at small cap stocks. And that seems to be where all the key strategists on CNBC want to talk about how great everything is going to be in small cap because they're so cheap. Most of the companies in the Russell 2000 don't even have any earnings. So I don't know how they could say that. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, boy, there's the S&P. We've just about made a new high, but not quite yet. Is that correct? Yeah, well, we're looking at a very long-term chart. This chart goes all the way back to uh, 2009, the March 2009 cycle wave for low. And this isn't the S&P 500 cap weight. This is actually the S&P 500 equal weight. So it's a different way of thinking about the market. And what we've been able to do is we've been able to, to look at this from an Elliott wave perspective and, and really just identify every key swing with a clear Elliott wave. And what we're looking at since the 2022 low, the October 22 low is a five wave advance that is traced out an ending diagonal uh, triangle pattern. That is a very common, um, you know, kind of terminal pattern, right? And we are in the final fifth wave advance. Uh, we've made that new high, so all the minimum 
uh, requirements have been achieved. Now, could it push a little bit higher? Could we get a throw over over that uh, upper boundary of that ending diagonal triangle? Yes, of course we could. Maybe one, two, three percent probably at the most. And then a move back into the triangle, uh, you know, itself would then confirm the end. It doesn't has, have to happen, but it could, right? We've met the minimum requirements at this point. So I think a breach below that wave for low at 6,500 on the S&P equal wave would be the key indication in my mind that uh, super cycle wave three, uh, which is a 90-year advance, uh, that started back in 1932, uh, this is over. And we're beginning a new super cycle corrective waveform in the broad market. Um, we're waiting to see that signal. We haven't seen it yet. But when we do, we will report it to you immediately. I'll be waiting. Listen, there's a question I have here. I noticed this is an equal weighted index as opposed to a cap weighted index because the cap weighted index has not made a new high as of yet. Is that correct? Yeah, that, that is correct. Uh, the cap-weighted index made its high on the 16th of July. Now, um, oftentimes you will see this kind of uh, non-confirmation between major indexes where, like, uh, the equal weight makes a new high, but the Russell 2000 fails or the cap-weight S&P fails to confirm or the NASDAQ 100 fails to confirm. And so far, um, they've all failed to confirm this uh, new high in the S&P equal weight. And so um, that could all change in the hours and days ahead. Uh, again, I think as goes NVIDIA, so goes the market. If we get a great blowout report with big guidance, you know, the market could take off and make new highs, right? Uh, but that will probably be the final high, in my opinion. Okay. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at, stay with us here with Jeff Huge. This is the one that always gives me difficulty, and that's a sector rotation analysis. Tell us what you're looking at here, Jeff. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're taking all the sectors, these uh, you know, S&P 500 sectors, which include tech and communications and staples and industrials and basic materials, energy, um, discretionary health care, utilities, and real estate, and we're looking at which ones – have the best momentum and the best relative strength compared to the index itself, the S&P 500. And what we see is in green, in bold green, really at the top, accelerating quickly from, you know, kind of the improving quadrant to the leading quadrant is the real estate sector, primarily REITs, but anything to do with real estate is captured within that sector. And you can actually see XLK in the weakening sector. It's been declining aggressively out of the leading quadrant into the weakening quadrant and appears poised to move into the lagging quadrant. This suggests that, you know, the rotation analysis favors defensive stocks like, like REITs, utilities, staples, healthcare. All of these things are starting to rotate toward the leading, uh, but it's being led by real estate, whereas like technology, uh, communications, industrials, um, energy, basic materials, all these cyclical sectors are now weakening and lagging. And so, you know, defensives are where uh, the money has been rotating and continues to rotate, especially uh, in, in the REIT sector and real estate sector. Okay, that's really cool. Now, Jeff, tell us about this CBRE group. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Yeah, so uh, CBRE Group is the largest publicly traded commercial property manager in the U.S. They manage everything from office buildings to industrial uh, facilities to storage facilities to multifamily housing. They are a property manager. Uh, they don't actually own the properties for the most part. And uh, this stock, this is a chart that looks back over five years, and it shows that you know, the stock was in a nice uptrend, which peaked in early 2022, and it has been basing for the last two and a half years. And just this past week broke out definitively on a weekly closing basis, to post a new all-time record high. And it is resolving a, a large saucer-type uh, classic pattern base formation that, from our analysis, projects a measured move to approximately $155 which, you know, is roughly a 35% return on your money from, from current prices. And, you know, we think anytime you're buying an, buying an individual stock, you want to have a stop loss. Awesome, man. We put a stop loss at 105. 
Uh, Jeff, stay with us. I want you to tell us about your monthly newsletter that is world class, folks. If you don't have this, I think you're missing something. So stay with us. Jeff will be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors in the world of trading only a few names stand out like larry pesavento a pro pro with over 50 years of experience larry has seen it all a former chicago mercantile exchange member larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise right, yep. introducing yep. fibonacci 24 7 larry pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities published every sunday receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletter. Letters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights. Tell us about the monthly newsletter, Jeff, please. Absolutely. We write a monthly investment newsletter on Substack entitled Huge Insights, The Big Picture. You can get it at hugeinsights.substack.com. It's free to sign up uh, to get kind of the, the macro download. So we give about four or five pages of kind of macro insights on the market. But we cover a lot of, you know, really detailed stuff, very similar to the sort of concepts that we approach in our discussion today, but much, much more. And, you know, uh, for those who really want to dig into our analysis, we actually have a paid version that's, you know, as, as, for, for as little as $15 a month, you can get access to all of our ideas, all of our portfolios, um, you know, all of our positioning recommendations, uh, and, you know, get month or, or not just a monthly newsletter, but weekly updates and access to some special content that we put out just for uh, paid newsletter subscribers. So it's a lot of value there. Um, again, you can find it at hugeinsights.substack.com or go to our website, jwhinvestment.com. You can find it there as well. Listen, my friend, thank you so much for being on. And you made me a promise that when you get that signal, you be I'll be the first to know right after your lovely wife, okay? 
<laughs> Absolutely, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Really great letter. www.jwinvestment.com. Thanks again so much, Jeff. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, folks, that looks like the timer on the wall means we're getting really close to moving on. we got 52 seconds, so let's take a look and see how the old wheat market's doing, whether we're still in it or not. Hold on one second, and we'll be there. Hold on where we are. Hold on a second. Where are you, wheat? Going to have to make something change here. One second, window. Uh, cascade. I'll put the wheat up, and the wheat is at, hold on. Oh, it's at 25. It's actually moving a tiny bit higher. So you're in it. Say a prayer. You might make it. 877-927-6648. Looking good, Billy Ray. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, and may God bless.